So, what to tackle next for my death core of pre? Mall. Oh, shut up! Molly, 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 Molly! Okay, combat engineers it is. Of course, that awesome mole launcher is going to be the centerpiece. The two Krieg troopers that fire a breaching torpedo that drills through the ground and emerges under the enemy before detonating. So I took a look around and found this one on 3D Cult. Link in the description. To back them up, the rest of the squad, well, they are armed with combat shotguns, so the Station Forge Tinkers will serve admirably for this role. The printing went without a problem, so I gave them a soak in warm water, broke them from the supports, and then gave them a blast of primer, and then applied a base of Abaddon Black. Once everything was ready, breaking out the Thunderhawk blue layer, getting a little dab on the end of my dry brush, wipe a few times on the back of my thumb to shed the paint, and then some generous swipes across everything to highlight the folds and wrinkles in the uniforms and the webbing. Afterwards, a more frugal application of the Dawnstone layer to all the areas that got the Thunderhawk blue, this more delicate hint of colour highlighting some edges and raised areas. Next up, the Iron Hand Steel Base, and dry brush swipes on the mole launcher and the targeting system backpack, the spare missiles, the detonator, the armoured shin guards, the weapons, the helmets, the backpacks, and the breastplates, which now really remind me of the body armour in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And then, corn red on the pauldrons, and then a wash of Karaberg Crimson, which really did a great job of accentuating the overlapping plates. I pondered adding some nice bright colours to the targeting system controls, making the buttons and screens glow. But these guys are sappers. They can move deep behind enemy lines. Blinking flashing lights might not be helpful. Kinda might give you away. I mean, down here, there are literally hundreds and thousands of blinking, beeping, and flashing lights. Blinking and beeping and flashing. They're flashing and they're beeping. I can't stand it anymore. They're blinking and beeping and flashing. Why doesn't somebody tell them to sir? I'm all right. And then Elmer's glue squirted around the base, spread around with an old brush, and then a sprinkle of red rock sand, and then some army painter swamp tufts. Lastly, the Cadian flesh tone, dry brushed around the boots and the hem of their coats to depict dustiness from stomping around in the desert, and then a blast of varnish to lock everything in. So here we go! My combat engineer squad, armed with combat shotguns, grenades, and lethal gas bombs. The troopers support and guard a mole launcher whose breaching torpedoes bore into the ground and are guided by the team who send it weaving beneath the feet of the foe, evading cover, avoiding defences before having it rise up and bring massive explosive havoc into the midst of the enemies of the Imperium of Man.